We're talking E3, and uh, it's coming up. And people, there's a couple things, the wonders of E3. Why can't the world get in? Why can't everyone get in? Well, yep. the world's too big to get in. I mean, it can only hold so many people. And the big thing is about getting retailers who are going to be placing orders for these games over the next year a chance to right. see what the product is, see what's exciting coming up, and then, of course, the media. You want as many media people yeah. to be talking it's, about your game. It's as much as it is a big arcade. It's not. It really yeah. is a business venture. Well, the problem is if you let just anybody, yeah. the public in, the guys in the media and the press and the retailers would never get a chance to play any of these games because the lines would be too long and right. kids would be getting greasy peanut butter all over the controllers. It'd and be a big mess. And so the far, controllers are greasy enough. It's yeah. by far the biggest event in gaming each year. It is. All right, well, it's let's take a call about E3. Hey, caller. Basically, all I want to know is any information you got on Half-Life 2. I mean... I've been following it since last year when that great trailer came out, and I was expecting it September 30th, and nothing yes, really happened. Yes, we all have been expecting we it. We all September. were, yeah, hoping that September 30th. Well, this is what I found. I actually got to go and look and play Half-Life uh, 2. Yeah, oh, this little beach party you went to, It was right? a little thing at, at a, a, a mansion in Malibu, and they oh, were showing off rough. a lot of games. Rough. Uh, Laura, you were coming, but you lost. <laughs> Laura went to the place that they were having the party afterwards. Yeah, I was in the wrong place. I saw that. Yeah, she oh, got well, lost. The but Half Life Two is real. <laughs> it was playable. I got the three levels in. And uh, it looks great. The artificial intelligence was there. Uh, the facial animations, very cool. Physics were there. The anti-gravity gun was all there. Mm -hmm. But when we said, you know, so when are we going to show play? Yeah, that's yeah. a big question. No. What? Huh? When no, it's when ready. When is it going to come out? <laughs> no, 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 we're really not no. talking when about that. When it's ready. So when there's it's... no date yet. Uh, I do believe it will be shown at E3 behind closed doors. There will be a video for people to watch, but no real demo for anyone to just walk on the show floor. behind closed doors last year. Yeah. But, Scott, Thanks, Scott, you're going to find out more information for us at E3. I will. I'm going to yeah. go and uh, find Gabe Newell and see if I can, you know, tie his hands up and do something to Tina try and get him to gives a mean noogie if he has the same to probably get you in the doors. There you go. So Half-Life 2 coming up. All right. Hey, Soon. caller. Yes. I want to know why... Isn't everybody paying attention to Stalker? Hello. I am. Hi. I am. Hi. Love it. Yes. We showed huh? the uh, trailer for this game how long ago? Well, we had, we showed a little bit of it when we did the, we had right. the Nvidia guy or the Intel guy. And like yeah. our, the drool was coming from our lips. I yeah. mean, this game is pretty. Yeah, it's amazing. It's, it's, a, it's a really big, powerful game. Like you need the latest graphics card to run Look it because there are there are times wow. when it blends from the, the, the photorealistic scenes to the, the animated scenes, and you can't even tell. It takes place at Chernobyl, right. where that in, nuclear... Right. In 2006, right. Chernobyl has had a second explosion, yeah. and um, now everything in the area is radiated and toxic, and animals are mutated, and you go in, you play this guy, a stalker. Your job is to go and explore the ruins of Chernobyl and find out what caused this destruction and this explosion. Yeah. Um, and But some of the things that I like about it is it is so real. Like, everything that lives and breathes has got to eat and sleep. So, like, you have to eat and sleep. You have to... You, where are you going to eat? you got to find things to shoot and kill so you can right. shoot a bird and kill it and eat it but that bird is radiated so protein now you're bars. toxic protein bars i don't know if the same thing people are talking about it we're talking yeah. about we're talking it and i'm going to find out more about it as are the rest of us on the floor of e3 and i'll be bringing it to you in our e3 wrap-up show yeah all right you... i'm excited for that thanks face stabber thanks face stabber cool hey game. caller hello what's your question about e3 um, I heard about something about EA and the rumors oh, going around Xbox Live. Yeah, I bet you did. I, I, I found this uh, little leak came out out of IGN last week, a couple weeks ago now, and the word is that EA is ready to announce support for Xbox Live. What does this mean? From what I understand, it means Madden, uh, NCAA football, NASCAR, and uh, NBA Live are going to be the sports game. No. And the new Xbox Live server <laughs> protocol, which allows other game companies to run their own Xbox Live servers, which I think is really the key there, that'll allow uh, EA and ESPN to do their own servers for their own features and right. shut them down when they want people to go buy the next year's game. But also we're talking about possibly Battlefield 1942, Burnout 3, and uh, probably Need for Speed. So would you too. play Madden now over Xbox Live? Instead? I don't think I will ever pick up my PS2 again. Yeah. <gasps> now here's a question. Cool. That First of all, yeah, high yeah. definition support on the right. Xbox. 5.1 digital right. audio support on the Xbox. And now the, the Xbox Live communicator headset. No cheesers because you have that one Xbox Live account. But now, Scott, is this official official? No. Not but yet. we will make it official. I will Hopefully, get the word. they'll make it official. Well, Sly Cooper's on the Thank PS2, you. so I still love it. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> the weeks before E3 are filled with secret press events by game companies showing off some of the games that will be at E3. And it was just such an event that I found this week's Game, game of, of the, the Future. 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 Future.
That's right, and this week it's Men of Valor Vietnam. It is coming from the developers 2015, the guys that made Medal of Honor Allied Assault. And what's great about this game is it really puts you inside of a war flick. Uh, the action is non-stop pulse pounding action the the dialogue is very adult there's a lot of swearing there's a lot of realistic vietnam battlefield yeah. dialogue I, I was actually pretty impressed by the writing uh... in the on battlefield uh... action sequences the story is told through a series of letters sent home from uh... from one of the soldiers and you play actually as one of the the guys who starts out kind of as a private and he moves up uh... into uh, various ranks so that he can be in a part of a lot of the different action really really felt like you were moving through yeah. and, uh, a Vietnam like a film. Quick game too. It wasn't a lot of waiting around. Well, would it be a guy's no, film or a girl's film? No this love is a story. guy game. Come on. Unless you're into killing no love story. Viet Cong. If you I'm like Viet Cong, killing. you might you might enjoy it. Really. Okay, it's time so. for the video game show that has no spinning wheel, no daily double, and absolutely no wacky host that says, "Is that your final answer?" It's really? Name That Game right. E3 Edition. That's right, it's the play -a -log game where our two fantastic what? hosts what? compete what? head to head in a test of video game <laughs> recognition. But this time it's a bit different. Instead of game footage, they'll see an E3 mascot or booth babe. If they can't ID the game, they'll get a clue, and the host with the most correct answers when the time is up will be declared the winner. Now, each of you is playing for Wait, a different shadow. Tina, who are you playing for? Scooter. Coming for you, Scooter. And Laura, who are you playing for? I'm playing for Nux Sonic. Okay. Third. Come on, Scooter! Right. Nux Sonic. And tell them what they win. Tell them what the lucky cheddar win. Oh. It's a Jeep or T-shirt <laughs> made of 100% cotton Ooh. right here in the USA. Not oh. available in stores. All righty, let's begin. You ready? Yes. First game, girl. Yes. Pay attention. Focus, Focus. On, the, on the food. Okay. Here okay. we go. Take a look. Okay. Oh. What is Star Trek? No. Okay. This game is based on the popular comic and film. Mm. <laughs> what is X-Men? That is correct. Yeah! Yeah, let's move on to the next one. Ready yeah. for Gina? Okay. Scooter to the head. Okay, the next one. Go what ahead. is Final Fantasy? No. <laughs> These girls have picked up some pretty bad hobbits. Oh, Lord of the Rings. That is correct. Ah! Very good. One to one. Okay, game three. Okay, okay, okay. All righty. Okay, Take a look at one game one. three. Go. Here we go. I'm My sorry, Tina, your light isn't on. That is correct. Yeah, it's Hostel. 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 That's right. Two to Two. one, Laura. No, Game number four. Let's take a look. There we go. What is extreme beach volleyball? That is correct. Yeah. Wow. Hey, now. Next. All right, next game. It is tied up. Hey, I knew that. I know. That is a suffering. That is correct. Yeah. All righty. It's three to Stop. two, Bad. Dub. Bounty Hunter. What is the full name of the title? Race Griffin Bounty Hunter. That is correct. All right, game number seven. It is tied up. Okay, the okay. hero in this game is not hunting rabbits. Uh, is that me? It's you. Oh, um, you don't know. Turok Evolution. That is correct. Oh, that is correct. That is it's four to three. Laura, yeah. we're going to the last one. Okay, last the next one. One more, one more. Come on. Yeah. Gwen Stefani right. was supposed to voice the lead character in this game. Oh, you slide on your face. And it rhymes. Slide. The title rhymes with American <laughs> McKee. Yes, and it's not Sonic who gets the shirt. Whoa, I'll have it. But because what? G4TV.com loves Scooter's going to yes, get a shirt as well. Yeah, That's going to do it. We're headed to E3 with your assignments. Thanks to the chatters and the forum members who participated for Tina Wood and Laura Poy. I'm Scott. Until next time, take care of the board.